Yes. We're in Philadelphia. You're out here homeless. Tell me about it. I became homeless in 2010. First, I was in Delaware, and then I arrived here in Philly when they became when we had occupied Philly. I started staying there, and I stayed in a tent there. But I stayed out here for seven years. Now I'm in a I, I'm in a place. It's called ODAP. It's one day at a time. It's a shelter. It's nothing really in there that's being proud of to be in there because they really don't help you as much as they can, but they try to help get housing for you if it's possible and you're able to get it. But being out here really is no joke for everything that you see and you live through. It's not a joke being on the streets. It's not fun. So what happened in, now were you homeless in Delaware? Yes. And what I, happened that got you out on the streets in the first place? I had got sick. I had a stroke when I was working. I, work, I, I lived in Downingtown, and I worked in Downingtown. But I got sick, and I couldn't afford my place anymore, so I left. I came into Delaware with, with my middle child, and she couldn't keep me too long, so I stayed on the streets in Delaware until I got here. Oh my so God. that's a lot of things right there. That and you've been out here seven years? For seven years, since 2010. Oh my gosh. Um, yes. So does the shelter allow you in during the days, or they kick you out? Or? No, you have to. St they 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 make you want to get up and go do something for the day, so you're not sitting in the shelter. You can go back like any time after two. Right. Yeah, and that way you can go upstairs. But you share a room. There's four people in one room, okay. so you're not by yourself in a room. Okay. You, you got to pay for your own personals. You got to pay for your own clothing. You got to be able to get your stuff to wash your own clothes, okay? If you make money, you got to pay some of that out for rent. So do you, how, do they help you figure out a way so you can make a few bucks? Or it's uh, just up to I panhandles? Do, I get out here to panhandle and I let them know that and then I collect food stamps. So I have to give up half of my food stamps to them so I can eat. So you give up half of your food stamps to the shelter? Yes. Yeah. You have to eat somehow and that's the only way I know if you don't, then you don't get nothing to eat and you survive on your own. So. What, what? I hear Philly's really bad out here. It's oh yeah, Oh, yeah. The streets are dangerous. Um, what, what's it like? What's, what's homelessness like here compared to other places? Delaware was easy. It wasn't so bad because the people weren't so bad. And it's a small town. Here in Philly, since it's so big, the homeless, okay, a lot of times they're not getting nothing, and ones who aren't getting anything, they're out to get what they can get. No matter how they get it or when they get it, they're going to get it. Survival right? mode. Exactly, um, is what it is. Now, I was here three months ago, and it seems that homelessness, even in that short period of time, is getting worse. It's 10 times worse. Since I came here, Homelessness is 10 times worse than what it was. And the people out here now, they're more crazier than what they were. At least some of them back then, they were in their right mind. Now there's a lot of them that are not in their right mind at all. And you can see that on the streets. What's your, and they don't get them help, and that's sad. What's your future like? What's my future? Hopefully I'm in a place they, they were talking about by fall but I'm not sure, so hopefully I get a place and I move on from there. I need a place to live. If you had three wishes, what would they be? A place to live, never have to worry again, <laughs> and my third, just to be okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much for talking. Thank you. Thank you for listening, really. And hopefully everything turns out okay, because I'm praying. I pray every day. And it's people like you that come along, and hopefully things don't work out. Because we need that. We need that here in Philadelphia. You know, we just need it. And I hope it does. I hope it works out great.